believe that this new era of customer engagement has arrived to insurance. If insurers want to be relevant going forward, they need to engage in the same way that we engage in all the other parts of our lives. So the day of an annual static policy is, is pretty much over. Today we need to have dynamic on-demand policies that can respond to signals in real time. Hey guys, we are here today with Philip from Slice. You've been working for decades in the insurance industry at startups and at carriers, and you have been observing the um, international insurance and insurtech space for quite some while. What are the trends you're seeing right now in 2019, 2020? The first trend that I would say is a trend around customer engagement. So I believe, you know, we believe at Slice that you know we've gone from a, a time of you know automating transactions to be more efficient to the era of customer engagement, and that's been driven by you know the digital explosion of services that we consume so as consumers you know how we engage with our phones to order a car to order food to listen to music to stream movies to bank and we believe that this new era of customer engagement has arrived to insurance if insurers want to be relevant going forward, they need to engage in the same way that we engage in all the other parts of our lives. How about insurance products? Do we need to innovate that too? Absolutely. I think the products need to change to align you know, the new world of customer engagement. And this is where Slice has come in. The day of a static annual policy with a renewal, um, I think are over. But it, it was, was quite nice. It was quite nice. It was nice for the insurer to not have to worry uh, and not have to engage with the customer for a year. But now, you know, the customer expects more. Today, we need to have dynamic on-demand policies that can respond to signals in real time. And that benefits the insurer because the insurer can really understand what risk is. The customer feels that the insurance company is looking after their needs or, or basically responds to their changing needs. And this is where Slice comes in with insurance cloud services and listening to signals and events. We've adapted all of the traditional insurance products to fit that model. So do you see also any opportunity in the claims sector? Absolutely. You know, I think that, you know, claims is the moment of truth. Claims is the real test in the relationship between the consumer, the policyholder and the insurance company. So there is there is an opportunity to reimagine what the claims experience. So today, again, with signals and events, as soon as we know that something has happened, we can pay uh, automatically. So making the customer avoid filling out a lengthy process. Uh, waiting for someone to get back to them. It's really just, you know, this has happened and here's your payment. So more like the concept of, of parametric insurance. And then for the insurance company, there is a huge opportunity to basically use behavioral science, which we use as well in our claims process to really move from just fraud detection, but fraud prevention. So there's some very well-known techniques that, that we have implemented that allow us to basically predict if someone is going to you know, be fraudulent in claims. How do you do it? That's trade secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what is your philosophy behind it? Can you share a little bit of something without you know, violating uh, the secret of the company? Yeah, we've worked with Harvard University and specifically with Professor Max Bazerman, uh, who has published studies around behavioral science. So uh, we believe that the way that you ask a question and some of the techniques that are used around taking an oath, around you know a signature and, and signing and, and acknowledging upfront before the claims process are all nudges and techniques that basically alter or influence the behavior of the person making a claim. And, and so far results have shown that A, we can easily predict based on patterns and using our artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms that we can better predict uh, what is the likelihood of this person submitting a claim and we can better predict you know if um, you know this claim is going to be fraudulent what kind of growth opportunities do you see one of the opportunities is is to look at where and how uh, insurance is distributed how are these products you know bought and one of the big trends that we're seeing is really about insurance being embedded as part of another experience. 
So nobody really with a smile on their face gets up in the morning and says, you know, I want to buy insurance. Not, Not even, even us. Now. But people do get up in the morning and, you know, with a smile on their face if they're going to pick up a new car, if they want to go buy a new car and the visit to the dealership is exciting. So one of the trends that we're seeing is, you know, insurance getting embedded as part of a broader experience. And then you just know that, you know, when you bring the Tesla home, you know that it's insured and it was all part of an easy, seamless transaction. We live in a, in a time where the pure definition of what a risk is, is changing. We, we have new emerging risks like cyber risks that are changing very fast. Uh, if we think of self-driving cars, autonomous cars, flying cars, you know, the definition of risk is, is being challenged uh, from all sides. So if you are seeing different things or you're interested in other trends that you're seeing, come talk to us. We, we'd love to talk about how these trends are affecting your business and how we can help. It was a pleasure. Thank you. So if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.